Palomino here doing another trail side review. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, our HJC helmets. Now we've mentioned uh, about them in the uh, one of our past videos and uh, this is more of a kind of in-depth review and getting kind of more close-up shots of them and things and talking about some of the features and stuff that the helmets offer. Um, one of the uh, as I had mentioned before, one of the reasons why that we decided to go with these helmets, uh, we wanted to make a switch back to the motocross style helmets. Uh, I had a motocross helmet for several before, and uh, last year we switched to full face helmets, and um, I wanted to give those a try. You know, they had the flip down visor, their visor, and then they had the built in sunglass feature and stuff like that. And, uh, you know they they were good on one hand and then they on the other hand they were not uh, for riding uh, type of riding we do and one of the biggest reasons that we found uh, that made us decide to switch was the fact that um, the visibility was really bad the peripheral vision out of those full face helmets was terrible and for riding off road and stuff like that it just wasn't um, it just wasn't safe and uh, I had a problem with mine, uh, even with the, the shields open and everything like that, that if I stopped and it was in the winter time or if it, had, if it was wet and cold or, you know, whatever like that, that my glasses would fog up inside the helmet. And uh, I'd have to take my glasses off just so I could see anything because unless I was moving along at a pretty good clip, five miles an hour or more, it wouldn't defog my glasses um, so that, that was a whole other thing to the visibility uh, that caused a big problem uh, you know if you were in a if you were in a mud hole or trying to get out of it you know and you couldn't be moving along and having air blowing inside the helmet you know you had your glasses fogging up so visibility was a big factor um, that was not good with those and, and then weight, you know, they were they were right much heavier than typical motocross helmets and things like that. So uh, Scarlett and I decided to uh, look for some uh, new motocross style helmets, and uh, we found the HJC, and uh, the reviews on them were really good, you know, and it was advertised as being uh, one of or the lightest helmets made at that time on the market motocross style helmets and um, That was another thing that sold us on them was the the lightweight uh, Of them because when you if you looked at the weight of these compared to other uh, Models of helmets and brands on the market and stuff these clearly were the lighter of the bunch and um, We like the graphics and everything these are the HJC uh, MX2 um, is the model of them and uh, we like the graphics of them and the colors they offer and um, they, they've, we've had them out on a couple of rides now we really like them they're, they're a lot cooler uh, more ventilation um, then also another thing I forgot to mention that we missed a lot I know I missed it a lot uh, from the days before when I had a motocross style helmet was the sun visor up here um, You know you'd be riding on a day like this and you'd be out in the direct sun and you have those full face helmets and although they had the built-in sunglass feature and all It did nothing to protect from the Sun's glare You know the Sun was right overhead or you had Sun directly shining into your face if you're riding into the sun down a trail or whatever I mean you literally were like for me I felt like I was blind I couldn't see anything 
was I took and put my hand up over my eyes to kind of make a visor. And um, so that was another thing I missed a lot of, and we're glad to have it back now on these helmets, having the, uh, the visor on there for the sun. And um, we got our pro shot uh, camera mounts on here. They fit on there really well, or you know, made to fit on motocross style helmets, and so they went on really well on here. Uh, we also have our Sunnas on here. Um, in a, a communicator on the side, SMH10s, and they fit on really well as well on these helmets, just as they have before. And another thing, these uh, helmets have good uh, uh, speaker uh, pockets or um, cavities, whatever you want to call them, where you can put your speakers for your communicators inside, and you have ample room that. Once you put the speakers in there, they're not like, you know, pushing tight against your ears and making it uncomfortable. There's definitely plenty of room uh, inside for the speaker, um, your, you know, speakers to be mounted on both sides. And um, I'm going to take real quick and show the inside of these. You know, you can see how the liner inside of them is, you got plenty of channels here to allow for sweat and ventilation and uh, sweat to be wicked away from your head and scalp and uh, got plenty of vents um, along the sides here and vents on both sides and then of course you have the vent behind there and even though this is in front the pro shot has vent holes there to feed that mouthpiece uh, chin guard vent and you have your vents here to take in air and then of course there is a kind of a hood scoop I call it or you know <laughs> air intake vent on top here that scoops in air going over the top of the helmet and then of course you at the back you have your two big exhaust vents that let the heat and moisture uh, go out um, of the helmet and uh, and they do I mean you know they they really good at keeping your head cool and they're comfortable. Um, all right, so that's uh, all positives and good things. The reason that we decided to go with them. Um, so if you like the video, uh, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.